everyone, today's video is going to be my Alice in Wonderland Mad Hatter inspired makeup tutorial. I'm so happy with the outcome, so let's begin. So the first thing I'm using is this Nazaru body face paint and it's in white and I'm going to use water because this is a water activated paint I'm just going to paint this on with a paintbrush all over my face. Then I am taking the Lunatic Cosmetics Contour Palette and I'm taking this white pressed shadow here and I'm going to set the face paint now. You don't really need to do this but it makes it more matte and easier to go over with shadows. Then I am taking the Camo Eyes Contact Lenses. These are the green ones, they're so amazing. I will leave a link down below so you can get a discount on these, they're so so incredible. Then I am taking the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm going to apply this underneath the lower lash line and up in my waterline to really knock out that skin tone and make it look more white. Then I'm going back on my brow bone and my crease and I'm going to blend this in with my finger. I'm taking the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer Palette and I'm taking the shade called Star Power which is a hot pink and I'm going to take the Real Techniques small precision brush to go underneath the lower lash line to really pack on the colour first and then I'm going in with a more fluffier brush to bring down the shadow a little bit more and blend it out. Then I am going in with this blue colour called Expensive which is a stunning shade and I'm going to apply this onto my left eye only so my left your right from the screen and it's such a beautiful colour so I'm just going to pack this all over the lid and then blend it up into the crease. And then I'm going in with this purple colour called Violence and it's a gorgeous purple and I'm going to again really pack this onto the lid and then blend up into the crease yet again. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm taking the Hot Pink called Star Power yet again. With a small fluffy brush, I'm going to apply this from my contour area and I'm going up onto the sides of my temples and all the way across my forehead under my hairline. I'm adding this shade because this is what the Mad Hatter has in the film. He has this really nice pink contour shade going on. So I'm applying this all over. I absolutely love this on top of the face paint. It looks stunning. And I'm also going to shade the sides of my nose as well using the same colour. Now I'm taking this Nazaria face and body paint yet again but in orange this time and I'm going to fill in my brows with this again using some water. You can use actual fake hair for your eyebrows if you wanted to um, but I find it's just a bit more too, I don't know, gimmicky and more theatrical looking. This one looks more natural plus I want it to look a bit more feminine so I'm just going to paint them on instead. Then I am taking a black liquid liner just to create a black line. I'm not going to do a wing or anything, just a straight black line so it avoids any mascara messes. Then I'm taking the PS Mascara from Primark and I'm going to apply this to my top lashes only. We don't want to apply this to the bottom because the bottom is going to be white later on. Now I'm taking the L'Oreal Pressed Shadow in Time Resist White, which is a frosty, shimmery white colour. And I'm going to pack this on in the inner corner to really whiten and brighten the eyes. And then I'm also going to be taking this pressed shadow onto my cheekbones down the centre of my nose and Cupid's bow, just because this is a frosty white and on top of the white face paint, it looks like a really beautiful highlight colour and it's absolutely stunning on the finished look. So I am applying this all over. Then I'm going back in with the white face paint and I'm going to use my fingers with a bit of water and applying the white paint to the bottom lashes to really make them more stand out. Then I am moving on to the Lip Lacquer from MUA in Funk, which is a beautiful dark pink colour. It's absolutely stunning and perfect for the Mad Hatter. And then I'm going back to the Jeffree Star Princess shadow and I'm going to apply that into the centre part of the lips. This whole palette is amazing for this look by the way. Then I'm going in with the PS Love Primark Lashes in Tees and I'm going to apply this to my top lashes only. You want to let them dry for about 30 seconds and then apply with tweezers so it's a lot easier to put on. And that is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed my Wonderland Mad Hatter inspired makeup tutorial. I had so much fun doing this, you have no idea. I have filmed a behind the scenes for all of my Wonderland series so far. So I will be uploading that once all of these little mini series is finished. I have two more as well to film, so I still have to film an Alice one and a Cheshire Cat one. I'm really excited to do them. So I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so happy with how this turned out. It's amazing. It's definitely better than I envisioned it, so I'm really, really happy with it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.